LC oscillations. LC circuit. We already know that a capacitor stores energy in its electrostatic field and an inductor stores energy in its magnetic field. When a charged capacitor is connected parallel to the inductor, then the capacitor discharges all of its energy to the inductor. The inductor stores energy in its magnetic field and finally it again discharges all its energy to the capacitor. Thus, LC oscillations are set up. Let Q be the charge on the capacitor at any instant of time T and rate of flow of current is dI by dt. Apply Kirchhoff's loop rule to the above circuit. Then Q by C minus L dI by dt equals to zero. But I equals to minus dQ by dt because as Q decreases, I increases. Therefore, L d square Q by dt square plus Q by C equals to zero. d square Q by dt square plus Q by L C equals to zero. This equation is analogies to the differential form equation for a simple harmonic oscillator that is d square x by dt square plus omega naught square x equals to zero where omega naught equals to square root of k by m k is force constant n is mass inertia factor therefore LC oscillations has an angular frequency. Omega equals to 1 by square root of LC. That implies 2 pi F equals to 1 by root LC. F equals to 1 by 2 pi of root LC. Therefore, F is frequency of LC oscillator. The change in the circuit varies sinusoidally with time as q equals to q naught cos of omega t plus phi q is instantaneous value of charge at any instant of time t q naught maximum value of change phi phase constant at time t equals to zero q equals to q naught Q naught equals to Q naught cos of omega zero plus phi. That implies cos phi equals to one. Cos phi equals to cos zero degree. Phi equals to zero degree. Therefore Q equals to Q naught cos omega t. By applying differentiation, dQ by dt equals to Q naught into d of cos omega t by dt but current i equals to minus dq by dt is given by minus i equals to minus q naught omega sine omega t i equals to i naught sine omega t where maximum value of current i naught equals to q naught omega this above equation is clearly suggests that the current in LC circuit is varying sinusoidally with the time.